Good morning. I'm Harold, Our Lady of Guadalupe Catholic Church volunteer. Today we celebrate our feast of Our Lady, the feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And I would like to have a small reflection about some misconceptions that we might have in regards to Our Lady of Guadalupe. I would like to start with two questions and then talk about several points, more points. Uh, the first two questions are going to be, do you need to speak Spanish to honor Our Lady of Guadalupe? Second question will be, do you need to be Mexican to honor Our Lady of Guadalupe? And of course the answer to both questions is no. You don't need to be you don't need to speak Spanish because Our Lady Guadalupe when she came and appeared to Saint Juan Diego uh, she didn't speak Spanish to him he didn't speak Spanish he spoke his dialect his Indian native Indian dialect uh, Nahuatl and she spoke that language so if you don't speak Spanish you know just because a lot of Spanish people you know honor our lady he said well that's only for spanish-speaking people nope you're wrong on that second you don't know of course you don't need to be mexican to honor our lady guadalupe our lady guadalupe did appear in mexico uh, that was her chosen country that she chose the place that she chose but history will testify and I'm not talking about politics here. Um, let me back up just one second. In the Bible, we have certain countries that are mentioned in the Bible and cities that are mentioned in the Bible that now if you go to that location, their names have changed because new governments, politics, whatever you name it, they have different name now but the location is the same and in the bible is mentioned with the old name that it used to have well our lady of guadalupe appeared to mexico and if you take a look at a map when she came uh she came and appeared to san juan diego in 1531 1531 in the year 1500s you know 1531 if you take a look at a map 1531 you will see that right here the soil that you're stepping on in queen creek arizona it was part of the same country that she came and blessed you can look at the map uh, it's nothing have uh, nothing to do with politics but i just want to let you know that you are stepping on the soil that she came and blessed and for me it's like a a reaction that when she came is like a reaction from an atomic bomb but in a good way she came here and blessed all the soil and her blessing spread to all the the earth through all the soil that she came and blessed all the country and like I said, you're stepping on the same soil. So you do not have to be Mexican to honor Our Lady Guadalupe because you are part of it. You are stepping on the same soil she blessed. Third, uh, my third point will be, uh, we all have patron saints. When we do our confirmation, we choose a patron saint, which is the saint that that we'll pray for it. We're, we pray to them so they can pray for us, intercede for us in our life. And cities have patron saints, countries have patron saints. United States, the patron saints of the United States is Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. We just barely celebrated on the 8th. It's a break. And, um, Diocese of patron saints and uh, our diocese of Phoenix our patron saints is 
Our Lady of Guadalupe. Now, churches or parishes have saint, uh, patron saints, and it happens to be that our patron saint is Our Lady of Guadalupe. Why am I saying all this? Well, it is important for us to pray to our patron saints. So we need to go today to Mass, if we can. There's a Mass at 7, I think. But if not, take a look at the website and take a look at Facebook. The information is there. If not, pray a rosary. Do a prayer, Our Lady of Guadalupe. Intercede for us. Now, God has sent His people signs all the time. He has chosen his people. He has always saying to them, Hey, I'm here with you. I'm not just a faraway God. I'm here with you. I'm present. He even sent his only son to save us. He loves us so much. But before that, even before that, he sent several messages, you know, to make sure that we knew that he was present. And now, this nowadays, I think is Our Lady, Our Lady, our, our Mother of God, is the one that is interceding for us. What would a, a mom will do for their kids? She will do whatever it takes for their kids. And I think she's interceding for us and asking God, I assume permission for her to come and and tell us to change our ways because she have come several times. Now she. She had Fatima, you know, there was, uh, I don't know if it's 50,000 people who saw the miracle on the sun, you know, moving. And uh, she has appeared to us several times. And uh, the apparition of Our Lady of Guadalupe was very amazing because uh, this is the only time that she gave a picture of herself to us. The other times, there's no pictures. People just saw it and draw did a painting of what they saw but this one she took a picture of herself and gave it to us you know <clears throat> so brothers and sisters it's important that we understand uh, to give honor to our mother now my last point would be uh, that we always give honor to whoever deserves honors when we go to the judge if we go to a legal court we don't call the judge, hey, dude, how are you? No, you call them your honor, your honor, because you have a respect for that position, for that person in that position. Well, guess what? If an, not even an angel, an archangel came from heaven, okay, from heaven, an archangel came from heaven and came to Mary and said, hell Mary, Full of grace. He didn't say, Hi Mary, how are you doing? No, Hail Mary, full of grace. That's the salutation that you use for royal. Okay? It's like your highness. Okay? He's giving honor to her. Now, humans are not even close to the archangels. Archangels are way higher than humans. And we think we're better than that. We think we don't, we're not supposed to give honor to the mother of God. Think again. Don't forget today is Our Lady of Guadalupe celebration. Feast day. God bless you guys. Always pray. And Rosary.